Hi, hello and welcome to the channel Scratch Coding for Kids. Okay, today we are going to see some projects. We are not going to learn anything. This is not a learning tutorial. This is all about a car racing game. So I developed a different car racing game than whatever available in the Google. Um, so we will have a look on how it works and all those stuff. So the link of this project is this one. Uh, it will be given in the description area of the YouTube. So below the YouTube, if you see the description area, you will see this link. You can go to this link and click on see inside and you can see the code. So you can take that code, you can modify it, you can improve it. So you can remix it. So whatever you want, you can do it. So I will give this link under the YouTube <coughs> description area. Okay, right. First, let's see how this game works. After that, we will go and learn how it has been coded, how I design and how I code it, okay? Right, let's go. So this, all these requirements are given by my son. My son is eight years old. So he was the one who won this game and he wanted like this. So it's a little bit different, not like uh, normal because we have some lives and those kind of things usually not given in the car game, but this is according to his life. So it's a little different than the usual. Okay, so let's first play and see what happened. So when you click on the green flag here or there, the game will start. Very first screen, it will give the current year and it will ask to select that. So there are four options given. This is a two player game. So first player can select any of the car color which he likes. So for an example, if I like blue color car, I select blue color car. And then you have to select the control. So if you want to play the car game, whoever already play the car race knows <coughs> there's a control like you had used the arrow keys or some keyboard keys to control the car so which control so i am selecting for the blue color car i select the arrow keys so i'm going to use up arrow right arrow and down arrow sorry left arrow for the controls so then when i click on next it goes to the next screen and here the second player who is playing second they can select their own car so for second player i'll give yellow color car you can select anything, right? If you want red, green, anything you can select. So I'll just select, okay, if we want, I can select the red color card. And I select the uh, control AWD. That means keyword, <coughs> keyboard keys A, W, and D. Now click on next. So the race is ready now. So I allow the user to, so this is something new. Usually people don't develop that part. So I'm allowing the user to select their own car and the controls. Without, so usually they give this is the control, this is the car. No, I gave the options to the user and allow them to select it. So once they selected the car, according to the car selection, the scoreboard will change. So if I select red car, the red score and blue car, blue score will display. Also the laps, if I select red car, the laps will be laps R. If it is a blue car, the laps will be uh, laps blue. <clears throat> and also I am giving two lives for each car. So red color car having two lives of red hearts and blue color car having two lives of blue hearts. Now I can start playing it. Before that, let's see some other options as well. So now I selected red and blue. So if I select, I'll go again. This time I will select green and yellow. Okay, so now see everything changes. So when I select yellow, the heart changed to yellow color. When I select green, the heart changed to green color. And here also the scoreboard changed. This is for green and yellow car. Earlier you see the red and blue. And also the laps also is showing for the laps G, laps Y. <coughs> so according to your selection, the whole race uh, um, screen will change. Okay, now let's play. So I think I gave... Uh, arrow to the okay so yellow color car i use the arrow keys so when i start to use the arrow keys it start to move and right turn you can turn like that and you can move continuously it will go this is a normal <coughs> car game now the different thing is like if you go and touch the green color area if you go into you the, have only one more life see it lost one life and it announces you lost one life. So I'll make it more sound and you guys will hear that. Okay, now. 
Okay, now <clears throat> I'll turn and I'll continue. But I will again go and touch the green clay area. That, that means I'm going off track. I'm going out of the track. So again. No more life. Okay, there's no more life. So the next chance you will lose the control. So what will happen next if I touch again, the third time if I touch the green, the car will stop running. <coughs> okay, the car stopped running. Okay. So the same thing with the green car, if, if they say in the player, because I am the one playing both, but if you have two players, same time you can play, right? So if I press W, the car will go forward. If I press D, it will go. Okay, now if I touch the green. You have only one more life. So I have only one more life. Now again, if I touch the green, that life also, I will lose it. See, the hearts got vanished, right? When I lose <clears throat> each life, the each heart will go away. No more life. Okay, so. Okay, now <clears throat> I came. So I lost two lives. So if third time I touch the green, the car will stop. The race is done, okay? Okay, good. Now I can't move. Even I press the W, it's not going to move. That's, that's a simple, pretty simple game, but it's a little bit complicated to write the code because there are so many options you have to play around because I'm allowing the user to select the option. So I didn't give this car has to have this. No, I gave the option. So it's a little bit complicated. Still, you can improve this game a lot. Like example, when it touched the third time, you can see, you can tell like now I'm announcing only the losing the heart, right? But when it touched last time, you can see you lost the game. So it's exactly the same code. You have to copy paste and say you lost the game. Okay. So that part, I didn't do it. You can do it for sure. And the next thing is <clears throat> once all done, depends on the score, you can announce who is the winner. So the winner is and you can give which car is the winner, yellow car, green car or blue car, whatever. You can that also you can improve it. The second, the third thing I'll show you. Like if I show only, you will understand. Sorry. Okay. Now, if the car goes forward, sorry, goes forward, the you see the <coughs> score is increased by fifty, right? But just in case, you know, the kids are very smart. So if they turn this car and come again without completing one lap, if they try to do in a shortcut way to score the score. So for an example, if they go like this behind wise, it doesn't in increase the score. Because I, I gave a quote not to increase, only when they go forward only the uh, score will increase. But there is one more defect. You guys can fix it. Again, if I turn the car and go back, the score is increasing. Okay. So that we had to stop it. <clears throat> so think, I have one idea. If you want, I can tell. But you guys have to think and stop that one. So when again the car comes also, it shouldn't <clears throat> increase the score. Because you just go and come back. So you don't need to finish the whole lap, right? So you just go with this start point and you can earn the score so that's wrong <clears throat> so you can improve that too then um, other than that yes you can announce the winner and you can announce when the last time when it touches the green you lost the game something like that okay so also if you want to increase the levels also you can put like this is the level one so the speed is five i gave so with the speed five the level one then you can go to like after the car scores around 500 points, you can go to the level 2 and you can increase the speed to 10. So like that you can. Oh, one more thing. <clears throat> Here, this car races in the constant speed. That means I gave 5. Always this car goes in 5. It doesn't accelerate. There is a way to develop with the acceleration also with the scratch. But the thing is, the, this uh, Scratch is less than 16 year old kids, right? So, and this one I mainly focus for 13 to 16 years old kids. So, what will happen is if, if I want to do the acceleration and all, we, you have to understand the velocity and also cosine and sine.
So that those things I don't think you you learn already in the school. So <clears throat> it's difficult for you to get the acceleration. So you we had to project the distance when they will travel so that you can find from the right angle. You had to calculate the cosine for <clears throat> y-axis and so, sorry sine for y-axis and cosine for the x-axis. So that's how you will see where is the point of the curve in the x and y-axis. Okay, so. That one is typical for your age. So that's why I didn't introduce the acceleration part. So I just gave only the constant speed. But in between, if you want, you can increase the speed. Like once once they finish the first lap, you want to increase the speed, you can increase the speed. Or like um, after the level one complete, you want to increase the speed, you can. That is simple. That you don't need to think too much. But if you want to accelerate the car, uh, it's you need some physics behind. Okay, So you have to learn that subjects in the school. Then only you can do that part. Okay, so now you are clear about what we have done so far, and how this game, we, how to play this game. Now we will go and see <clears throat> how we have to develop. What's the logic behind this? Okay, right. I'll take a small um, paint screen. So first, very first thing, to do a car race, basically we need few things. One is we have to have car and we'd have two cars because we are allowing two players, right? <clears throat> so this is a minimum, right? I didn't go to the complicated code still. I'm going to do the basic one. And we have to come have car two. Also, we have to have a race track. Race track. Okay. So we had to have two cars and we'd have the race track is the minimum requirement. After that, we have to give control for each car. Like for an example, car 1, I am saying to have arrow keys. Yeah, I didn't give any user selection or anything still, right? So, first we will learn the basic, then we can improve it, okay? <clears throat> car 2, I have to give some control. So, most common control is AWD. Okay, so we are giving two controls for two cars. That is the other thing. Next thing, we have to move these cars. So each car, we have to move and turn. If you move and turn only, you can play the game. Okay. Other one, we have to have a start point. Because you can't, if you are having a car race, you have to have a start point. Okay, and the car should be in the, every time you, Press the green flag, the car has to be in that point. Okay. Right. Wherever you left the game doesn't matter. But when you when the new user comes and starts the game, the cars should go to the starting point. Okay. Uh, what else we want? Basic, very basic things. Okay, then when the car touches the green, it should stop. Touches green or blue. You can give any any background green. Stop the car. <coughs> So these are very, very basic things you have to develop first. Then we will see how to improve more and more, give user selection and all. Those are a little bit complicated. It's okay if you don't understand. But you have to understand at least this basic thing. Then you can think and develop the develop further. So first we will develop this thing. Okay. Forget about the project now we worked on it. We will create a new project. Okay. Let's go to the scratch screen. I'm going to take a new project. Here, as I told earlier, we will delete this cat. We don't want the cat because we need cars, right? So I'm going to take a backdrop. So I said we need a car uh, race track, right? So I'm going to draw a race track. So go to the backdrops. So I had to give a background. So I will take a square. And this time I will give a blue color. It, it's, it's going in a sea. We'll imagine like it's traveling in sea, right? Okay, we'll give blue color. Or maybe sky blue. It's in the sky. Okay. Right. Then I'm going to give a square. The background blue. Okay. <clears throat> we can a little bit. Okay. Then in that blue background, we have to have a race track. So it's pretty simple. You can use a brush. And you can, this is blue, so I will make it white or black. 
right? So then only it, it will differentiate the color. So black we can use, but the problem is if you use black, the car color doesn't show brightly. So that's why I am using the white color race track. It's up to you. You can use anything. And I want to a little bit increase the brush size because, <coughs> sorry, brush size because otherwise the uh, race track will be very thin. So if it's a thin, you can't play the two cars, right? If two cars has to go with a decent size, then we have to have a big race track. So I'm increasing the race track, the brush size to get a big, um, we will make it as without in 75 or 80. Okay. So now it's a big one. So let me draw it. Or oh, maybe 90. Okay. So now I'm going to draw the race track. When I'm drawing the race track, I should have the curves. Otherwise, it's very straightforward, right? If you make a straight line, it's very easy to play. The users can easily play. If it have curves only, they have to use turning keys and they have to do a lot of work, right? Otherwise, they simply finish the game. <clears throat> so I will make a race track with curves. Okay, so we got our race track in a blue color background. Right, this part is done. Now, we have to have two cars. <clears throat> so, we will create two sprites. <coughs> this also I am going to draw it. But if you want, you can, it's up to you, right? These cosmetic things, you can do anything. Like you can import a car or you can draw a car. So, I will draw a simple car because it's easy for me uh, than taking a new car. So, first sprite, I am going to draw a simple car. I don't want brush, I just want a square. And the car color, I'll make it red because red is very bright. So it's easy to see. That's why I'm making red. So the dark colors in the white background, you can easily see it. Okay. So I'll make a red color car. Make a small square. Easily finish it. Okay. I, I'm not going to do any cosmetic stuff. <clears throat> then I'll make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Then I'm going to make four wheels for the car. So I'll take a circle, take the color black and make a small circle here. Okay. Right. Now I copy, paste. Oops. I'll put it here and together oh no no it is here okay never mind we will copy one by one and paste It's too small to select. Yeah, yeah another one I paste it. I put it here. So this is our car or so we are uh, to show the front and the back to show the difference i'll put mirror in the 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 sorry wind uh, wind shear, shield in the front of the car so let me take a window i take change the color to white I'll draw two windows, okay? It will be more realistic. Okay, cool. So I made a car. <clears throat> now, uh, it's simply I, uh, I duplicate this uh, sprite because I want another car, right? Two cars, okay. Before that, we had to um, modify the size to fit to this racetrack. So I will make this 100%, I'll make it to 
try 30 percent otherwise we can change or oh, 30 is too small no it's, it's fine right because we need two cars to be there yeah 30 is good Th even 30 is a little bigger for the racetrack i'll make it to 25 okay now i just simply duplicate this one so i don't need to draw it again so i got the same car but only thing i had to do is i had to uh, change the color because both car cannot be in the same color then we don't know which player is playing what okay so let me change the color <coughs> to blue mm, blue will show there or we will make it green uh, we will make it green little bit darker green mm. Now this car became green color car and that car became red color car. So we have two cars now. Okay. Then we need one more thing. We need a starting line, right? So in the backdrop, we have to put a, oh, sorry. We have to put a starting line by using the brush. I'll change the size to thin size. Around 10. And I'll make a starting point here. No, not brush. I don't want the brush. I want in black color. Just try to change the color. And I need just a line. Line will be more straight. Okay. Maybe we can change the size of the line to... Okay, so now we can see, right? So I'll take the cars a little behind. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now we are ready with the all the sprites and the background. Now we are going to the coding part. So first, <clears throat> let's say um, okay, we don't have many backdrops, so we don't need to say anything for the backdrop. So we'll go to the first car and make first the simple coding. So when the green flag is click the very beginning we need to save forever where's the control forever we are going to say <coughs> if condition if which key is press for we are doing for the red car right red car we will give the arrows so we'll say um If key up arrow is pressed, move motion blocks, move five steps. So here I'm giving the speed. I'm going to speed through the steps. Okay. I'm giving five. Five is a decent speed because if it's 10, it's too fast. It's difficult for the user to control the car. Okay. So five, I'll give five. So if you want, we can change it. But this five, we are going to give as a variable. I'll come to that point. Now we will give, give us a Constant value is a 5, <clears throat> but we have to change this as a variable because otherwise you can stop the car. When you are stopping the car, you, have to, you need a variable, okay? Then only you can pass the speed here. Okay, so first arrow key, we are done. Then I'll say, if the user presses, if, if condition, if right arrow key is pressed, Turn right side uh, 5 degree because if you give 15, it's too much turn, then they can control it again. Okay, so less than 5 you have to give, or maybe 3, 2 also okay, but 3, 2, 2 small, 5 is a decent number, but it depends on you how you want to design this game, you can change it. Then another if condition, I'll say if the user presses the key. Left arrow, 
you have to turn 5 degree left side. Okay. So, this we are done with our first red color card. Good. Now, we will go to the green color card. This is a very basic thing. Okay. We did it. Green color card. And we will go again the same code. You can simply copy paste the code here. Okay. Let me stay, say here. If you do it like this, it will come to this card. Okay. Now, only things we have to change the keys. I don't want same keys for the same card. Then both two users cannot play. Right. So, if two users have to play, we would have different keys. So, for this user, this green color car, I am going to say the AWD. So, for the forward W, W, and for the right arrow key, I will say D. D. And left arrow key, I will say A. Okay, so all good. Now, <clears throat> we said only how to move the car. Let's see up to this it's working or not. After that, we'll go to the next level. Okay, good. Start button. Now, I'm going to press the arrow key. So, the red car is moving. I press the right arrow. It turns right. Okay, cool. So, what we want to do so far is working fine. Now, see green color car is working. W, I press W, it's moving. I press D, it's turning. I press A, it's turning back and on. Okay, right, cool. Now, we did that part already. What's the next thing we thought to design for the basic things? Card 1, card 2, racetrack ready. Card 1, arrow keys done. Card 2, A, W, G, done. Uh, move and turn, done. Okay, start point and touch the green. We have to stop the car. Okay. So, to give the start points, Okay, one more thing we didn't give. You guys notice that when I click green flag, the car should go back to the start point, right? So, let's see. <clears throat> we will say, first thing, whenever click the green flag, the car 1 should be in the car 2, right? So, we selected the car 2. So, car 2 has to go to, go to the position X. Wait, let's see where is that position, okay? I move this card to here. The X is 132, Y is 75. So it should always go to, okay, now if I take that one, 132, minus 132 and 75. Good. The same thing for the red card. Every time I press the, okay. Every time I press the, the green flag, it should go to go to the position to ninety six. Is that correct? Minus one hundred and thirty two and ninety six. Okay, it should go. Also, we had to make sure the direction should be exact 90 because we are when we are turning the car turns, right? The use, other users play. So, we have to make sure the direction, pointing direction is 90 when every time they, they click the flag. Also, for this car also, we have to make sure the pointing direction is 90. So, now we solved that problem, okay? Now, if you click on green flag, both will come to the 90 direction. That means facing to the right side. And ready to be in the uh, right start lane. So let's play and see if it's working fine. So now I'm moving it. <clears throat> I put the car here, other car I put somewhere. Here. Now I will click on the green button again. Both came to the start line. Okay, so we are done that one too. So what is the other basic thing we wanted to ah, touches the green? We have to stop the car. So, next code we had to write is, whenever this one, here it's blue, right? Not touches the green, it touches the blue, it should stop running. Okay, so, let's see, we will first write the uh, red car.
when the green flag is clicked forever if if the this car this sprite touches the blue color so here in the sensing we have option touch color blue so we will select the blue so you can take this color picker and go and select here so it will select the color what we have to do we have to change the speed to zero so here we need a speed variable otherwise we can't do that one so let's create a variable speed red car r and for the blue car speed blue b okay you can show that in the screen or even you don't need i'll take away we don't need to show in the screen okay i'll take away okay now <clears throat> initially we are going to do Set the, we have to set the variable, right? So we'll say the speed of red, the red car, right? Okay, yeah, red car is 5. When it starts, it should be set to 5. And now, instead of here 5, I'm going to give the variable speed red. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> now we are good with the variable. Now I say here, if it touches this one, set the speed R zero. Okay, so it's going to stop. Zero means the speed is zero means it's not going to move at all. Now I'll go to the green car and do the same thing. Okay, so the same thing I need it. So I'll put it here. Okay. Now let me code this one. Here, instead of red car, what I have to say, I have to speed blue blue has to be zero here i had to define the speed set the speed to five initially always when you click the green button the speed should be five speed blue huh? speed oh it should be green i put it blue okay that's okay but uh, okay I'll, I'll i'll change the name of the variable rename it and it should be green green it's not a blue car it's a green car right okay so here also it's green. Here also it's going to be green. It's equal 5. Then I'll put here instead of 5, I'm going to give the variables. Oh no, that's only the variable, okay? And right. Let's see it's happening or not. <clears throat> Let's go and check the game. Okay, I'll keep the arrow key. Okay, we did something is not right. Okay, let's see what we did wrong. Okay, where is this? Let's see. Okay, that if you give four away, it never lets to go to five, right? It always be zero. So we had to give zero only if it touches the blue. So let's see now we will make it touch the blue. No, it doesn't work. You will touch the blue. Okay. Then we had to find out what we had to do. Wait. This is not the right way. Why it doesn't work? Wait. Let me see. Yes, we have to give here forever. Otherwise, how it does it know? Like we have to stop it. So that's fine. Let me give control forever. And um, Let's see, it should work. Wait. Okay, only thing I can see is it's already touching the blue, no, right? 
Okay, it's working. I don't know why it didn't work last time. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Whatever has to be there, okay? Right. Now, I had to go carefully without touching the blue. If I touch the blue, it stopped. Now, I cannot move beyond that because I gave the coding. If it touches, the same thing for the next car. If I press W, it will go. And if I touch it, it stops. Oh, no, it doesn't stop. Why it is not stopping? Let me see. The green car doesn't work like that. Oh, here I didn't put the forever. Sorry. I didn't give the forever here. Okay. Now it should work. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Now uh, red car already worked. Let me know. It stops. Okay. Now we will go with the green car. And we will go turn and right. It also stops. So it's working perfectly. So we did all our basic things. Now we had to go for the advanced one. So what we did, we, we created two cars. We created the racetrack. We gave the controls to each car. And we uh, make sure it according to the control it's moving and turning and we define the start point and then we said if, if it is touching the blue it should stop the car so all these things are done now <clears throat> now we had to design little adverbs because if you see my previous project it is showed here Car is level 1. So here we have too many advanced stuff, this whole coding. So but, but the first advanced thing is, okay, we'll do one by one. Don't come to the selection because selection is more complicated because more complicated if continue to use it. Before that, we will see what else we do here. <coughs> So here we are giving score and we are giving the laps, okay, and we are giving the half. So next step, we will develop these things, okay. So we will design what are the things we are to do. So next level, if we, if the car uh, cross the starting point, We have to increase the scope and laps. Okay, scope whatever you like. Like I'm going to increase by 50, but if you want, you can increase by 100, you can increase by 20, whatever. Laps, or, laps should be one by one. You can't increase a lap five by five, right? So it has to go one by one. So first we will do that one, then we will come to the heart. Now let me go back. Okay, this is my previous project, I'll take the new project which I develop now. Here I'm going to give every time this car is touching this black color line, okay, I had to say, I had to increase the score. So to increase the score, I had to have a variable called score. So first I will create a variable score red and other variable score green. I want to show both here. I can put it like this, but I want to show both because it has to be in the screen. Okay. So I will give another set of instructions. When I click start, First thing I had to show um, yeah I had to show um, show the variable score red score red okay then what I have to do is every time this red color card touches this black 
IRT increase. So I'll give a uh, if condition. If this car touches the black line, okay, we have to increase the score, change the score, R by 50 or 100, whatever you, or 25, you will get, give 25, okay, right. So, <clears throat> we, we have written the score for the red car. But here, one thing, we have to give the forever. Otherwise, what will happen is, uh, this when the green flag happened, it will check it. If it is not touching the black, then it stop it. So, if you give forever only, it will always checking that point, right? So, we have to give control and we have to give forever. Okay, right. Now, we will do the same thing for the green car. But only thing we will change the variable, okay? Right. So, score is equal. This is a score green. Okay, one more thing we had to do. We had to initiate the score. Because when the green flag is clicked, the score should be set the score to zero. Otherwise, when player one player plays and goes, the score will start from that score. So, the, the first player earned 100 points. Then the, when the new player comes and play, it will start from the 100. So we don't want that. So every time the new player comes, it starts from the 0, right? So I, I'm setting that variable to score red, score red to 0. Sorry, this is score green, sorry. So score green to 0. The same thing for the red color car, I have to do it. So I will check the score. Uh, one second. Okay, so I'm setting the score here, score red to zero. Okay, now it should work like that. Okay, let's see. We'll go back. We'll start the game. <clears throat> so it should, when I pass this black color line, it should, the score should increase by 25. Oh, yes, there's a big issue. Yeah, this one, how we are going to overcome. Because the computer is so fast, this black color line is pretty thick and the car is taking too much time to pass that black color. So this, this speed is, uh, the score is increased too much. So how we can control that one? We have to see the computer. When you change, uh, change by 25, you have to wait for at least 5 seconds. Okay. So this car should pass within 5 seconds. Otherwise, it will increase, okay? 5 seconds. And for the same thing for the green color car. Now it will be good, okay? I'll start. So everything becomes zero. The cars are ready. Now I'm going to move the car. See, it's only 25. Oh, it touches the blue. Okay, you should be careful. It shouldn't touch the blue. If it touches the blue a little bit, it will stop moving. Okay, right. Now, we'll use the W key and move the green color car. See, the green score is increased by 25. So, each car when it touches the blue, then if you come the second lap, it will increase by 50. Okay, let's see. We'll do with the second car. Okay, first car doesn't move because I touch the blue. Uh oh, this also touched the blue. Okay, so otherwise, <clears throat> it will increase by twenty-five. Every time you pass this black color line, the score will increase by twenty-five. Right. What's the next thing we have to do? So now we in, in, introduce the score. The next thing we have to do is cross the starting point. We have to increase the score and the laps. Okay, 
we had to give each laps, right? How many laps they are going round and round. So now we had to create two more variables. One is called laps R, so that is for the red color car. And other one is called laps V, that is for the green color car. Right, so I will put those things down because otherwise it will be too crowdy over there. So I'll do it like this. So now initially they see. So the same thing we had to do. So when the green flag is select, we had to set those laps to zero. So I'll first set the laps, laps are, oh no, green car. So green is zero. And then I'll say when the green flag is clicked, Forever, mm. even I can give it here. I don't need to go for the another one. Wait, that's also then wait five seconds. No, no, for five seconds, it's better to give a separate one because otherwise it's difficult to give five seconds, right? Okay, now uh, I'll go for the another event. And also, I'm going to give, uh, uh, show the first, I had to show it. So go to the variable, show the variable here. I'm in the green car, so it should be lap screen, perfect. And then I had to say forever. I had to give if condition. If the car touches the <coughs> blue, sorry, black. Is the black, then you have to say set the chain the chain the laps G by one. Okay, right. That we have written for the green color car. Now we have to go to the red color. I'll copy the same code. Now I'll go there and change here the variable to red. Laps are here also laps are. Then I'm going to give here the laps uh, R to be zero. So I'll set when the green flag is clicked, the, I set the laps R to zero. Okay, now it should work properly. Let's go. Uh, the five seconds I didn't give it, otherwise it will increase the laps too much. Okay, so one more thing we have to give it here. Increase by one and it has to wait for five seconds otherwise it will increase thousands of laps okay no need 15 seconds five seconds for the green car also the same wait for five seconds okay so all done now let's see okay so i'm going to move this red color car carefully because i don't want to touch the blue Why is removed? Okay, something went wrong. <laughs> we have to check it. It's not moving. Let me go back. Did we change any speed? Anything? That's one. Wait five seconds. Touch the black. Okay. I didn't change anything to the speed though. Okay, that's fine. Blue speed zero and speed five. It should be fine though. Maybe it's a it's okay. I think I I didn't properly click the start. Okay. Right, I didn't, uh, I forgot to click the green color flag. That's a problem. Okay, so see the score increased by 25. The red color car score increased by 25. Red color car laps increased by one. Now we will go a full round.
So it's going on the way. I want to show you the second lap it increases, okay? I am not a good player. I am a good developer, but not a good player. <laughs> My son can play faster than me. See, when it passed second time, the score increases 50 and laps increases by 2. But why the green car increases without moving it? Oh, I had to check that one. The green car should move it, but maybe I pushed it or something. I did it. Okay. So the second time it, it increased by 25, 25 and 1 by 1. Now do the same thing for the green car. <clears throat> it increased 20 and laps because see, initially it increased. So that I had to check it why it increased initially. So the same thing, it will happen. So <laughs> this is how you can do it the game, build it, the basic stuff. So these are the very basic stuff. So it's enough for today. Then we can learn. We can give heart here for each life. And then we can allow the user to select the selection. But if you want the whole code, I, I already told you. Go to this one. Go to this URL. I will give this URL in the under the YouTube. You can see my code. How did I develop the whole thing? And you can modify. Like I told you the things we can improve it in the beginning, right? So all those things you can improve it and modify it, remix it and enjoy. Okay? Right. Thank you for watching. So we will meet in another uh, video. Till then, bye-bye.